All right, we're out on location. It's starting to snow, so I'm going fast. Uh, we're running off a ladder today. We're trying to be more safe. Hopefully we'll get in the 160s today. Whew. I wasn't straight. Oh, slow down, we're going to the side of the road. Oh, we saved it. We sa oh, we went off. Oh, we went back on. We went off the road twice and we're back on somehow. Holy sh shaking. I was so nervous to make that pass. I can't tell which way it's facing. If I just got a PB on a ladder, I dedicate this run to Zach Francisco. He's recovering right now from a speed run accident. He ended up hitting himself over a hundred mile an hour. Woo -hoo, a lot of rocks. All right, Woo. see how fast we went guys. Oh, I never started it. Fuck. Okay, start. It's tracking. We gotta do one more real quick. That's terrible. I can't believe we just did that. Oh, something sounds messed up. Oh yeah, something really sounds messed up. All right, we're back in the shop. And unfortunately, I forgot to start the GPS. I was rushing because it started snowing and I wanted to get it done before it started. And then I forgot and then I thought I blew my front diff. But my drive cup just came off. Um, I went on Facebook looking for recommendations of gears and somebody's sending their, their old gears they don't need. Uh, which I definitely need. These are extremely chewed up. When this car got ran over last year, it was under full throttle, so all the gears got completely messed up. Um, since I got to replace all the gears, I already ordered the new diff housings from Vitaven with the oversized input gears because on this past run, uh, both my input gears completely exploded. There's little bearings all over my workstation and I'm just tired of dealing with that so we got the new diff housings on the way we got new diff gears coming so we're gonna do a install video the next video with the limitless will be an install video um, I also went out yesterday and bought a use XLX uh, since I have two XLX twos out to castle being fixed um, first, we're going to put this in the saw blade limitless and do some more off-road speed runs on grass or whatever. Uh, and then we could possibly put in the low and get the low up and running again until my XLX2s come back from Castle. Because Castle's being super slow lately. 
Um, he also threw in a OG X-Max 6S ESC. It's pretty lightweight, pretty small. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the Arma Sentin. The Arma Sentin's only a 3S, but I want the option to go 3S, 4S, and 6S and completely blow up the differentials. This is one of my favorite RCs for a 10 scale, definitely. Um, since we're fixing it up, as you can see, the stock body is completely screwed. So we're getting a new body on the way. Uh, we ordered some Typhoon 6S shocks. I heard those are the best shocks you could buy for this truck. As you can see, I've been mixing and matching, just finding whatever shocks I could throw on here. Because every time I'm out, that's the only part that breaks. And then, also, of course, I broke the RPM arm last time. So we got new RPM arms coming. We'll do a build video on that, and we'll completely bash the crap out of that. Because that's my major basher right there. I'd send it to the moon. I'd do whatever. Here's a quick clip. right on the rocks and it's okay dang this thing could take a beating guys oh no so oh chassis slammer we've broken our shock <laughs> oh we broke we actually broke the shock shaft I'm super excited with all these new parts coming. Uh, we'll fix up a few RCs. I'm going to break my PB here soon. I feel it, guys. Uh, if you're a new watcher, hit that subscribe button and fiddle that bell so you don't miss any of these new videos this summer. It's super exciting. Thanks for watching.